This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Thank you for joining us for this News 4 Alexa update. I'm Lauren Traeger. Here's a check of the top stories making news at this hour. The Illinois Supreme Court has given the OK to the state's ban on semi-automatic weapons. The ruling in favor of the ban came down this morning. The legislation bans dozens of specific brands or types of rifles, handguns and accessories. That includes 50 caliber guns, attachments and rapid fire devices. Also, no rifle is allowed to accommodate more than 10 rounds with a 15 round limit for handguns. Police are still searching for two suspects wanted in connection with an Amber Alert in St. Louis County. Police say the pair took a two year old girl from an apartment on Marbella Drive in Spanish Lake last night. The girl was later found safe and the car they were in abandoned. Tonight, you can taste everything St. Louis has to offer. Taste of St. Louis kicks off tonight at 4 o'clock at Ballpark Village. There are going to be dozens of great options for food, whether you're looking for tacos, burgers, sweet treats, pretty much anything. And each night there will be live music as well. Taste of St. Louis runs through Sunday. We do have a first alert uh, weather day though today. So let's get a check of your forecast with first alert meteorologist Ken Earhart. And we're really focused on later on tonight as we had some storms roll through early this afternoon, uh, the eastern and northeastern parts of the viewing area. But uh, those have moved on and we expect some sunshine and very hot temperatures today. High of about 94 that heat index near 100 with southwest winds transporting the heat and the moisture that will fuel some of the thunderstorms. And there is a severe risk for tonight. It's a slight risk across the area. And you can see that these storms don't even fire up until later this evening. So about eight or nine o'clock, let's look for the leading edge to begin to move in and maybe a couple of periods of some heavy rain and storms that could contain some damaging wind and large hail. Another first alert day for Sunday. And again, the focus seems to be on Sunday night, although during the day, there's one o'clock in the afternoon. We certainly have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. It looks like the primary threat may be maybe Sunday night. So let's keep an eye out for that as well. So 91 for Saturday, first alert Sunday, mainly for the nighttime, but we'll wait and see. And then it does turn cooler after that. Next week looks pretty nice.